Welcome to another episode of Are You a Door Hardware Nerd? So we've got a very special guest today, Mike. I got a question for you. Are you a door hardware nerd? I am a door hardware nerd. <laughs> um, well, thank you for taking some time out of your day to, sure. to chat with us and the other nerds. Um, excited to have you here. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about what you do. Yeah, I'd be happy to. My name is Mike Keegan. I'm the vice president of security products for Magnusphere. Magnusphere. Magnusphere has developed a more secure switch technology for door position switches. Which is important, right? Which is important. It's the first line of defense for access control and security. So my presentation usually includes the opening joke of after 40 years in the security industry, I've scratched my way to the bottom. I sell door contacts. <laughs> but it's such a, a crucial, essential part to the overall security of your door. I mean, yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen solid looking access control, but they're not monitoring it, right? Sure. If they're not monitoring, what's the point of having access control? Exactly. You want to know a door position status for so many reasons. I've been in so many facilities where somebody puts a magnet on top of a door and where it was supposed to be recording egress and ingress and suddenly nothing's happening at the door because it's been open for four months. Yeah. And like, wait, like, wait, how long has that been? Right? Like, yeah. and you hear these stories all the time and that's, that's scary. That's yeah, <laughs> it is scary. You know, it's the first line of defense, the concentric circle of protection. You want to protect your perimeter. You want to go to the interior mm -hmm. and then maybe specific items throughout a facility. So, you know, we do feel we're the first line of defense. Yeah, no, I agree. It's, 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 it's up there with, with, some of the most important aspects of your security. Yeah, and, and what's unique and what I love about what I'm doing is we've got a story to tell. You yeah. know, everyone else makes door sensors, door position switches, door contacts. They're referred to by many of those names, but they all use the same technology, the reed switch, which mm. is a 1937 technology. 37. So if you, if you look around the, this uh, DHI show connections, you don't see many 1937 technologies. No, no. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other, what other technology came out in like 1937, but you don't, you don't Probably see Probably copper that. wire. Yeah, right, <laughs> copper wire. <laughs> so Magnusphere about 20 years ago developed a more secure switch mm. for door position switches. So we, we have this switch that's more robust, it doesn't fuse, it doesn't break, and it's anti-defeat. Ooh. So it's, it's got a story to tell, and that's what I love about what I do because, you know, I'll go into a high-rise in Penn Station, for instance, in New York City and sit in a boardroom with a table for 50, and I'm talking to architects and engineers and specifiers, and they are actually interested in door position switches yeah. <laughs> because of the story. Yeah, no, uh, especially if you, yeah, you tell it like that, like 1937. It's like, hey, there's been little to no innovation in this product. Right. Um, and it I'm came back, it was Dr. Randy Woods was investigating a home security system in Arizona. There was a home invasion in his neighborhood, mm. and the security company came and installed a system. And within moments of them leaving, Randy took a refrigerator magnet off his refrigerator, placed it on the wireless door sensor, and opened the door. And the sensor no longer chimed the system so um. so he thought wow this isn't good yeah it's that's this problem. easy to defeat it <laughs> and he refrigerator magnet <laughs> right he called his his alarm company and said hey i want something better and they said well that's all we have yeah. so you and i would probably go okay randy went into his garage and came out about a year later and had this magnusphere switch that now is anti-defeat so wow, it's the first and significant improvement to door sensor technology since the 30s. Wow, that's that's impressive. What, good job for Randy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Is that Randy? That's it? Yep, yeah. Randy. Wow. Yep, the founder uh, of Magnusphere. That's uh that's 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 remarkable. Yeah. I, I had no idea. That's a great story. Yeah. A little bit of history. We're learning some <laughs> stuff today. And some of the things we're rolling out here at, at Connections is um, we have now gone through the process with UL and had our door contacts tested for fire ratings. Ooh, important. So we now have UL 10C ratings on a number of our, our fire uh, door position switches. Yeah. So it's oh. important, you know, and this is something, Benji, that a lot of integrators out there, access control installers, they see a door, they drill their hole, they put their sensor in without any regard for whether or not it's a fire door. Yeah. yeah. And I've learned that you can't add fuel 
to a fire door. No, no, that's uh, <laughs> you shouldn't do that. No. That's, a, that's a no, no. Yeah, so so that's been a, a, a new uh, product line for us. So trying to spread the word out there to you integrators and professionals, be aware fire doors need to have UL10C fire door sensors on them. No, that, I, 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 yeah, no, you think about it, all the different installs that I've highlighted or posted about or we've talked about on the show. Um, right. A lot of those times they're fire rated openings and someone takes a drill to them and you know throws in a door position switch for the access control system because a lot of the times that's after the new construction job sure right yep and uh that's scary that's uh really scary because you're compromising the integrity of that door exactly and, uh, a lot of in your integrators just don't understand and that's probably why i mean that's why we're doing the show is to educate Sure. Those are the things that sometimes don't come up while you're being an apprentice or you're working alongside a more seasoned installer. You know, these are important things as you progress through your career to be aware of. Yeah. Okay. What would you say, I, you already spoke a little bit to it, but like what, what would you say are you most passionate about in this industry? Gosh, my first job was 1981 as a central station operator monitoring alarm systems for Sonatrol. Okay got into sales, got into sales management, general management, owned my own alarm company for 15 years really? that I built and sold, oh, and then nice. didn't know what I was gonna do the rest of my life. And I met the people from Magnosphere at a trade show. So I'm the type that loves what I do. So if you love what you do mm -hmm. and you really believe in your product, it becomes just this lifelong fun journey yeah. where you meet great people, great <laughs> friends, um, and you enjoy what you do. Yeah, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Exactly. Right? So, you know, my message is find what you love, do it well, enjoy it, because it's really a journey of people, yeah. not products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you uh, go to a trade show and you see people that you have known for 30 years, 20 years, 10 years, and you enjoy their company, and you, get, you look forward to not only presenting your product, yeah. But you enjoy spending time with your friends. Yeah, and what I think is sometimes overlooked in our industry is the products that we are use, you, like supporting and selling and, and promoting are uh, important. Like they're life safety, they're yep. security. Like it's, these are important products that we're um, able to connect our careers to. And that makes such a big difference, especially if you know that you're making a difference out there in the world. Oh yeah, and uh, from personal experience, when you get the call the next day and they say, your fire alarm saved my family's life. Wow. You know, yeah. those are powerful See, I just, things. I just got chills. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you know, those, those are the things you look back on and say, wow, I really have made an impact. Yeah. So, yeah. It, you know. But I, we often get caught up in the rat race of things, right? As yeah. If, if we lose, lose uh, that. And another great, I guess, um, position in this industry is to, your competitors aren't your enemies. No, no. So get to know your competitors because yeah, yeah. they're fun too. <laughs> <laughs> you can go out and have a beer, enjoy people's uh, company, but, you know, we're all in this to try to provide a service of life safety yeah. and security. Um, but it's a, as an industry, not as individuals or individual companies. Yes, yeah, so, no. You know, reach out across the aisle, so to speak. Yeah, no, I think that's really important. And, um, you know, in the the good old boy age, age of the, the hardware and security, there was a lot of uh, competition clashing. And yeah. I feel like that's you can't do business that way no. anymore. When um, What's the saying? When uh, um, when the, the tides rise, all boats rise with it, right? Exactly. Like it's, it's yeah. like we're, we're in this to help the industry become better overall. Right, which, exactly. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Awesome. How long... Have you been a door hardware nerd? Do you remember, was there like a particular uh, moment when you thought like, hmm? You know, it was probably being, being in the alarm industry and mm -hmm. having product knowledge about, you know, the, everything from the panels to the hardware to the sensors. Um, when I sold my alarm company in 2009, I had an agreement for six months to stay with the buyer. And I went to a trade show and I walked down the aisles like I normally do, and I said, wow, Magnusphere, I've never heard of you guys, what do you do? Yeah. And he showed me their product, and I thought, wow, this is like an industry changer. Yeah. And I think at that point, there, was, there were angels singing lights, and suddenly <laughs> I became a door hardware nerd. <laughs> because ever since, here is what, what I do, I sell door hardware, and yeah. I love it. Yeah, no, um, that's... that's 
you had the, the, the angel moment. I think we've all been there, right? Like, ah. <laughs> awesome. Um, what is, and you already spoke a little bit about this, but uh, what is one piece of advice you would give the nerds that are just joining the industry? You know, really dive into the product. Mm. Understand what it is that your product does. And, you know, salespeople tend to, you know, tell a good story, but mm. then have to turn to the engineers um, for the real answers. Yeah. Um, early on, I would say, if you have, you know, that's a good question, let me get the answer for you. And I turn to the engineers. Well, I've found it. The deeper I could dig into the product to really understand um, what's happening below the surface, yeah. um, it just made me more more valuable to my customers. So really dig into your product knowledge, understand the nuances, um, and then understand what your competitors do. Yeah. So when you start, you know, sometimes you say, well, you'd probably be better off with X, Y, Z. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's uh, being a, a good partner in this yeah. industry. Understanding where your solutions can meet your clients' um, needs, but then also understanding where they, they have limitations. You sure. Want what's best for that, yep. your customer. And ultimately, that's going to build more trust with you as a exactly. security consultant or professional that's yep. with them. And consultive selling, um, which many of us do, um, you know, there you go out there and you, you teach the architects and specifiers and engineers what your product does. They're not going to go, gee, let me get out my checkbook. You know, you're educating them yeah. so that eventually when there's that opportunity, they remember, gee, Mike came by. Yeah. That magnosphere sensor probably makes a whole lot of sense on this application. So um, it's, it's just being a resource for those people. Yes, yeah. And when they're ready to buy, you can be there and um, take the order. But um, certainly... You know, we're not in, a, in an industry where, you know, people are walking up to the counter and buying your, yeah. your stuff. Not really, right? right. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is the nerdiest thing you've done? Oh, my goodness. You know, like <laughs> most door hardware nerds, you know, <laughs> my wife will say, what are you looking at? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's probably, I think that's kind of in all of our blood. You get somewhere and, you know, you see now people are posting the pictures, like the horrors of door hardware. But, you know, that's one of those things I'm doing, which kind of, I think, kind of seals the, the door hardware yes. stamp yeah. on my forehead. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what's that doing in there? You know, oh, did they, that doesn't look like it fit well. You, you can't so, turn it off. You, you right? can't turn it off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. in our blood. I, and I'm sure your wife, like mine, is... Um, very uh, a very patient woman. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that comes with the industry. And, you know, if I'm doing a good job, I get good eye rolls. Like, oh, yes. gosh, yeah, here yeah, he yeah. goes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, I've got one last question for you, and then we'll wrap this up. Um, and I want you to fill in the blank. You might be a door hardware nerd if you... I think the most fun you can have is looking at doors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a door hardware nerd if you're looking at doors, right? right? Like you're, exactly. you're just around looking at doors. I mean, you, like you see it in movies, you see it in, in uh, television series, like you see it all around us, right? right. It's, it's doors yeah. are everywhere and they're so important. And it's part of your education too, because you can look at different things and go, oh, that's a unique application. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's how the whole Door Dork series started was I would see something that just didn't look right. I'd take a picture of it and then send it to people that I knew knew the answer to it. Right. And I'd learned so much from these sure. veterans that have been in the industry. And most importantly, I'll end with this. If it weren't for door hardware, we wouldn't have knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Because you just push your way through the door. Yes. You wouldn't have to knock. <laughs> you wouldn't have to knock. Yeah, so, yeah, you, you got a good point there. You got yeah, a good there point. There you go. So, well, on that note, Mike, Benji, appreciate pleasure. your time. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. Um, uh, welcome to the Door Hardware News. Thank you. It's an honor. <laughs>